as old as you are, I God be you will never hey, you change. will never change. As old as you are, as old as you are, Jesus, you, you will never change. Almighty oh, God, as old as you are, as old as you are, Jesus, you will never change. Almighty. Lord of Lords, the I am that I am, the omnipotent God, omniscience God, Lion of Judah, the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Father, we thank you. We praise your name. We adore you. For you are the King of Kings. You are the Lord of Lords. Father, we thank you for the gift of life. We thank you for the gift of food. We thank you for the gift of for the gift of shelter. We thank you for the restoration of our salvation, Lord Jesus. May your name be highly exalted, now and forevermore, in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, your word says that the prayer of a sinner is an abomination in your sight. Mm -hmm. With a poor and contrite heart, Father, we come to you seeking for the forgiveness of our sins. Mm -hmm. Forgive us for every sin which you have committed. Oh. Wash up with your eyes, O Lord Jesus. Father, may we continue to worship you all the days of our life in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. For every string, every hold, every enemy holding this family, Father. Jesus, oh my Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus take control. Take control from the fires. Of the angels, we send them to the abyss right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Father, cover this family. May Amen. your blood continue to go with us. Amen. May your way be with us. Amen. May you give us your wisdom, your knowledge, and your understanding. Amen. May you bless this family, Lord Jesus. Amen. Yes. Guide us and be with us all yes. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, what goes around comes around life is more than what you see be warned ada ada are you okay 
What is it, my dear? Auntie. Yes? You've forgotten what today is. What is today? It's mom's remembrance. It's been 15 years since she left us. 15 years that she gave her life to a man who didn't give a damn about her. About us. Adam, 15 years is a long time. I know, it's a long time. But I promised never to live the life that she lived. That's okay, my dear. Life is never as you. I have seen the other side of being a slave to men. And I promised to never be a victim. Um, I wanted to discuss with you concerning... Auntie, whatever it is you want to discuss, please. We can do it another day. I am mourning my mother. I know that by now men will be disturbing you up and down. Some will be for marriage. But please, do not listen to them. Don't be interested in them. Just face your studies. Your husband is waiting for you in America. Is he not handsome? Well, Mama, he he's handsome. Do you like him? Yes. Hmm? <laughs> Mama, yes. Good. When you were little, our general overseer liked you and betrothed you to his tomb that says in America. Do not listen or get interested in anything that any sinner will tell you. Don't fall to any temptation. Be hmm? Yes, Mama. That is why our general overseer has been supporting me and my little business. Once you are done with school, America, here you go. Are you not happy? <laughs> I'm happy, Mama. Eh? Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He has your own picture too. Oh, really? Yes. <laughs> Hi, my American daughter. <laughs> Mama. When you get to America, you know we have a branch there. You will manage there. Eh? Ask Mommy General where he is managing. <laughs> and you sing with this angelic voice. Yeah. Hey! Holy! Oh, all the church is there, your mother. Hmm? You have soaked yourself in the Lord. And the Lord will <laughs> never depart from me. Amen! <laughs> so, my dear. Anya mwa, anya sa. Yes, Mama. Anya mwa, anya sa. Those little, little devils around the school, street, 
they are chicken change. Yes, mama. Amen. God has positioned you. Amen. Amen. So see you again every morning. In Agu, Hallelujah. Hosanna. Yes, mama. In Agu, Hallelujah. Hosanna. Amen. Because you don't need anything. He has perfected everything about your life. Hmm? That Thank is you, what you gain by being in the Thank Lord. <laughs> Rose, my dear American girl. <sighs> my sister died in my arms in a hospital. And she asked me to take care of her before she gave up the ghost. I do not want to fail her. Please, my dear. Do not make me feel me. My mother died while giving her all to a man. And in the end, that same man killed her. He pushed her to a hit and run driver. I smashed her into pieces. memory haunts me badly, auntie. Well, my dear, it's all in the past now. We must learn to let go so that we can move forward. Well, I swore never to let any man use me as his doormat. Instead, I will use him. My dear, you cannot avenge your mother's misfortune by ruining your life. I'm not ruining my life. I am living my life to the fullest. The men toe in line, and they're all welcome, as long as they have what it takes. But that is prost... Until you can say it. Prostitution. But do you honestly think that I am stupid? To open my legs for every Tom, Dick and Harry because of money? Yes, they come a dime and dozen. But guess what? They shop for me, they take care of me. It might interest you to know, Auntie, that they do all of that just for smiling at them, for being beautiful. Does that sound like prostitution to you? Hell no. Auntie, your niece has a rare gift from God and she's making good use of it. My darling, do not be deceived by the intention of you now. It's only for a while. A woman's life, it's... Auntie, auntie. I'm not foolish, old. Do you think I'm foolish? I have a huge plan that would make me so much money even before I graduate from school. Yes. I will use this man to get what I want. I will use them and use their connection and use their resources. Do you think I'm just here folding my arms and, and not thinking about my future? I'll use them, auntie. You should pray for my success and stop condemning me. Hmm? Auntie Flo Flo. You see, I know why your mother sent you here. Hmm? She wants you to look at my children and see how they behave. You need to soak yourself in the Lord. Do not allow the things of the world to distract you. Never. Hmm? Soak yourself in the Lord. Always meditate. Read your Bible. And you see, God will never fail you. You see those painting their nails, making their hair, is a sin before God. You are beautiful the way you are made. God knows how you like it and he molded you like that. So every time you look in the mirror, always tell yourself, I am specially made by God. I cannot add or subtract because my God has given me all it takes to be the child of God. Remember this always. Always, always. Hmm? Sister? Oh, Grace, you're out here. How are you? I'm fine. 
I'm leaving for school. Hmm? I want you to be a good girl. And stop giving mama issues. Have you heard me? I have something for you. This is 10,000 Naira. I want you to use it and take good care of yourself. Stay out of trouble, Grace. And mama must not know I gave you this money. So you hide it, okay? You are open your door. Put it inside. Sister, thank you so much. Thank you. Do you know that Mama is very stingy? Grace. Mama is very stingy. She doesn't even give me money for sanitary pad. She says in their days nobody used stuff like that. It's okay. Just obey her mm. and stay out of trouble. Mm. Hmm? Listen to everything she says. I want you to be a good girl. Have you heard me? Don't worry, everything will be fine later. Hmm? Have you heard me? Thank you. Don't allow Mama to see that mm. money. She must. And the stick I need, no, no. Stop it. Yes. Stop giving mama trouble. Look, mama. I'm ready to leave. Eh, hey, my yes, dear. Mama. We are leaving already. Good afternoon, sister. Yes. My dear. Um, please. Keep the light of the Lord burning in that your school. Yes, ma'am. Hmm? You know, there are so many sins in the university. But I trust you to live by my training. Your sister is the only one giving me stress. But I believe that God will give me the wisdom to bend high the path of righteousness. Amen. But well, Mama, you need to calm down too. You need to take it easy on her and yourself. She's still a growing girl. She will learn as she grows, Mama. Grace is so stubborn. When you were her age, you used to follow me to all the crusades and prayer sections. Do you know that Grace doesn't know how to pray? First Thessalonians 5.17 On each earlier, now look 18 verse 1. The Bible says that we should pray without ceasing. Prayer is the key. A praying mama, tongue. Mama, Biko, hmm? I need to run along now. I don't want to miss my lectures. Mm. I need to go. Yes, okay. Mama. No problem, my mama. dear. God will be with you. Amen. I will always remember you in my prayers. Amen. Nothing will happen to you. Amen, Mama. Hey, are you coming next week? Mama, I can't make it next week. Mm -hmm. My exams are starting soon. Yeah. Oh? All right. All right. I'll see you, eh? My dear, mm -hmm. stay well. Mm -hmm. Mama. And please, just give grace, grace and break. Break. Amen, eh? Mama. For Amen. obeying you your mother, your days will be long. Yeah, Mama. You will marry well. Hey! Yes. Have you seen my daughter? Hmm? Have you seen why your mother sent you to me? Good. She is a true child of God. Do you know that she is in her final year in the university? <laughs> so, my dear, do not let all these little, little devils called men deceive you. I'm not being now, but when you go here, I jump and pass. And the blood of God, the blood of kingdom, will always protect you. This one is too small. It's too small. I will not take it, Mama. It's too small. It's too small now. Just manage it, ma. Eh? Manage it. Don't you know that times are hard? Manage! Mama, it's not as if I don't know. But I, I told you about my school fees. I, I, I... Hey, hey, Biko, Biko, Biko! Stella, I don't have time for you and this your school stories this morning. Eh? If you had married since three years ago, when we are men, when we look at Diego, we are coming to ask for your hand in marriage. Would you be here asking me for more money? I'm asking you! Mama, we're talking about it. I can go I thought we had grown past that now. Mm. It is not how long or how many times we have talked about it. It is how many times have you listened to your mother. Even Bible said it. Children obey your father and your mother so that your days on earth will be long. Yet you have refused to obey me. Eh? Marimba! Mama, you know I respect you. Eh? You know I respect you. You're my mother. But the thing is, I am not in a hurry. Yes. I, I want to acquire knowledge. I want to finish with my studies, get a good job, so that I can take care of my family as well. You know, support in the upkeep and all of that. Support again? 
It is not your duty to support any marriage. Yes, your husband will marry you and take care of you. <laughs> Mama, what if he's not capable or something happens tomorrow? And who will allow you to marry a man who is not capable? Anyway, it is not your portion. Eh? Um. I have added more. Take, manage it. Mama, you just added only 1,000 naira to the money. It won't be enough now. Ah, 1,000 is money, big money. Manage it. Where? Go now, time is going. Gawa, gawa, gawa. Mama, but I made sales at the shop now. Even the money people dashed me. Where, where is it? Wait, oh. I should carry the whole money and give to you. Eh? No, you would have asked me to sell my shop and give you the money because you are going back to school. What can go, Biko? Mama, this money is too small. Oh. It's too small. Well, you cannot do anything for me. Have this money do for me now. Just manage it, oh. She said, you know, up to my school. Oh, manage the boss. Think about tomorrow. You know what you're going to do? Everybody who you see for road. Go fit show you love, man, and game jika. Many things to say, man, I got it back. I just wanna be who I wanna be. Wonderful. It's excellent, Mr. Thank you, sir. Oh my God. It is people like you that give us hope that we're still in business. The business of learning and impacting knowledge. Hmm? Not all these lousy girls who gallivant round town and come back here to seek for Max. But I'm waiting for them. Yes, I, Dr. Basu Pogan, will never compromise on my standards because of some stupid and, 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 and wayward girls. Never. I'm going to approve this essay for publication in our faculty magazine. Thank you, sir. Yes, I you have your credit. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Thank You're welcome. you, sir. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. I'll be on my way now. That's okay. Thank That's you, sir. Okay. You're welcome. Thank you, sir. Keep it up, okay? Okay, sir. Yeah, bye. Ah, these are the people who are serious about learning. I wish we had like just a few of them. Thank you very much, sir. I cannot understand why a young lady like you cannot settle down and do the work you have come here to do. Instead of gallivanting around town only to come back here to give meaningless excuses. Sir, like I said, I was very ill the day the exam was taken. I mean, let's do something about it. Something like what, if I may ask? I don't know. Maybe consider it uh, a missing script and I'll play my part. Just name your price. What insolence? What insolence? How dare you sit before me and make such silly suggestions? Are you alright? Nothing, sir. It's just that we're dilly dallying on this issue. Let's get it done and over with. Since we're both busy people. Really? In that case, I am closing discussion on this matter. You just have to repeat the course and retake this exam. Yes. Now get out of my office. Leave my office right now.
You're still all right? Oh, yes, welcome, sir. Thank you. I would want to see um, Ada. Oh, Ada, she's not in. I spoke with her and she says she's in. Maybe she's on her way back from lectures because she's not in at the moment. Oh, really? Yes, sir. Okay, um, let me wait for her. Okay, let me get you a seat. Thank you. In the jungle, there's a king. When I come, you better run. This way, sir. All right. I appreciate your time. You're welcome, sir. When you come in here, you bow to me. You can call it a campus. This is my kingdom. I am in charge. I'll be on my way to school. I have lectures in 10 minutes. Okay, good luck. All right, sir. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Mr. Lambert. Oh. Hi. Mr. Lambert, I hope you haven't been waiting for so long. No, really, I'm fine. Hey, I saw Stella on the way. She said she gave you a seat. Yes, she tried. I'm fine. Mm. Hey, Mr. Lambert, um, Stella and I are no longer friends. Why? She's a flirt. She's a liar and she's a thief. Do you know she has about five boyfriends on this campus alone? Really? And numerous sugar daddies all around town. Yes, really. Ha! She uses them, eh? As tennis balls. She just plays or plays them all around. Hmm. But she looks so innocent. Ah, that is the problem. The innocent ones, they are the most dangerous. The deadly ones. Fear them for their Jezebels. I'm telling you. If not that I quickly came back from seats now. You know, it would be another story. She'll start using you for ping pong. No, I'm a gentleman. You said you were going to take me out today. Oh yes, the reason I'm here. Okay, let me quickly drop my books. I'll be right out. Okay. Yes. All right. Hello, Chaik. No, I can't see you today. I've got evening lectures. Yeah, I'll talk to you later. Not everybody will you see for us. Be unto oh, this household. Pastor. <laughs> Grace, how are you? I'm fine, Pastor. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, dear. Is your mommy at home? No, she went to the market, but she will soon be back. Oh, that's good. And uh, what about your sister Rosalind? I haven't been seeing her in the church. She's in school, university. I know, I know. <laughs> Just that whenever she's around, she comes to the church. Yes. She has not come home for the weekend and I think they are taking exams. Okay, okay. You see, I want to see her. Do you have her number? Yes, but she asked me not to give her number to anyone. Ah. Even to me, Pastor Victor? See, there is something I want to discuss with her. Something very important. It's something that will also benefit you. Pastor, why not talk to my mom about that? I'm not in the right position to give you her number. Oh, okay, okay, I understand. Uh, please don't tell her I asked after Rosalind, okay? I will tell her myself. Okay, Pastor, it's okay. Thank you. Take care. Bye, okay. Pastor. Bye. Oh God, only God will understand. See you somewhere. <laughs> Everybody will you see for us. Show you love, man, I came to come. Many things to say, man, I had to buy. I just want to be who I want to be. Yeah. Uh -huh. Mr. Mr. Lambert, I'm ready. Oh, really? Yeah. It's okay. All right. Okay. To the car. All right. Okay. 
I fell in love with you the very first day I met you in church. Ever since then, I've been looking for an opportunity like this. Well, you've got it now. So, shoot. You already know me. I'm a civil engineer. And by God's grace, I am doing well in my business. Oh yes. You know my plans for you, Ada. I want to get married to you. Even though you have not really given me a strong feedback. But I'm not relenting. Because each time I close my eyes, you are the one I see. So, what do you want me to do about that? I want you to accept my proposal and I will take care of you. Can you, um, can you take care of me? I will take care of you. All I need, um, I need commitment from your end too. I'm fine. And you? I'm okay. How about your little sister, Desua? Mm, she's there, making a whole lot of trouble. <laughs> they said that's how you were when you were her age. Who said? Your mom. My mom. Mm -hmm. mm, don't mind them. They're just ganging up against me. You know, because Bless I'm the only boy. Blessed are those amongst the women. Uh, not amongst troublesome women. They're too <laughs> troublesome. By the way, why are you with your school bag? Oh, the bag. I went for... Maths extramural lesson with Mr. Okafo. So I was just heading home. I decided to check up on you. Hmm. Check on me, or you said to warn me that you really want to take first position this time? Yes, because I'm going to make at least 90% maths this year, and you are going down to second position or even third. We may even go down to. Four. No way, no way. Do you think I'm sleeping? I must maintain my first position. Eh, uh, let me hear. Or do you want us to bet? No, I won't bet though, because I'm not bet Nigel. Eh, uh, let me hear, because you're afraid now. Okay, let me run along, because my dad says he wants to take us out today. Seriously? Yes. Enjoy yourself and take care of my little friend. I'll try. Bye. Bye. Will you marry me? Yes. <laughs> but not yet. There's something called courtship. I'm in my third year in the university. I still have one year to go. Plus another year for youth service. I know, but I 
I just want us to, to start the process now. But I am not going anywhere. I will always be here. The only other thing that takes my time apart from stories is business. You know, I sell clothes and jewelry to my friends and my friends' friends just to keep, keep me afloat. <laughs> Ada, you're very enterprising. I'm proud of you. I'm impressed. Thank you. <clears throat> you know, let me just give you a little bit of intro to it. I, um, I usually send money to my friend in Dubai to help me buy stuff. And I, she sends it to me, then I start to sell to people. It's just that my capital is really small, so, you know, I get to spend the, 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 the gain even before I see the capital. <laughs> it's very fun, right? And you know, girls owe a lot. I feel like if I have like five, eight, ten million thereabouts, I'll be in real business. Oh, interesting. That's cool. Yes. Um, so, um, how much are you going to give me to add to my business <laughs> and um, be committed in this relationship? Um, I'll help you, right? I'll help you. Just that I, I would have to think about it, okay? I'll think about it. But before you go, I'll give you something. Oh, thank something you. Something cool. Take home. Thank you. You're welcome. But um, I hope this is your promise. <laughs> it will not be like a politician's promise. No, no. I'll think about it, right? Don't worry yourself. <laughs> we haven't even gone anywhere. He just said, you know what, will you marry me? Yeah. He was sitting down. A little. Like this. Sitting. I'm telling you. He didn't even kneel down. For <laughs> real. Hey! That is the correct bushman. Say it again. What did you say to him? Because hey, I said yes. Hmm? Mm hmm You said yes. You know my golden rule. You know, you say yes, but with a condition. If you know what I mean. Okay, what condition did you give to him? So I told him he needs to give me some money, you know support my business so that i can support him when we eventually get married hmm. you know financially another smart <laughs> move you are just too smart rosie ask me how much he gave me <laughs> how much did he give to you 50k hmm? as dollars or pounds or shillings rosie fifty thousand naira only from how much how much did you- 5 million is what I asked you. Jesus Christ. 50,000 naira from 5 million. 5 million. As percentage or what? 10%. Chai! That man is just the president of Stingy Men Association. Rosie, say it again. That is the kind of person that would deprive you of money, keep you as a slave in the household, deprive you of attention, and even deprive you of mm -hmm, the other one. You've seen it now. Stingy with everything. You've seen it. The people I keep meeting. Hi. Red lipstick, he with a pink gown, with a big earring, all oh, dressed up. Everybody was greeting me on the road. Hey, Ada, hello, hello. Ada, hi. It's in our Lambert of God. Hey, I'm going to me fifty thousand. They take ice cream and come in. I'm nice. taking enough, please. Hey, he even yeah. bought you something, or from the fifty thousand. Okay. Mm -hmm. Did you collect it? This Dr. Okam, eh, Rosalind, the guy is there, he's just frustrating me on this campus. And, uh, you know when someone is frustrated, he will always look for someone to frustrate. That man is an unfortunate fellow, but he doesn't know what is coming for Very him. unfortunate now. If I show that man, very yeah. unfortunate, I go show him now, say power past power. Yeah. Who are you calling? Hello, Senator. No, I'm not fine. Yeah. This is Dr. Bokham. He's just frustrating me on campus. No, we're not 
was quarreling, no. Ah, was it not that weekend I came to see you that the exam held? Yes. Please, Senator, eh? I want you to unleash your full power on him. Eh? You need to show him because he's frustrating me on that campus. He's frustrating me. <laughs> of course, he wants something from me, but you know your baby now. I don't do such things. Yes, I would never meddle in those kind of things. No. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Senator. Thank you so much. Yes, I'll come and see you next weekend. Mm -hmm. I, I, I'll come prepared. Don't worry. And don't worry. I will send his number to you right away. Please call him. And don't forget, Senator. Full power. Unleash it on him. His own is too much. Yes. Thank you, Senator. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Dada, mm. if lie was a person, on the one with the ultimate liar, you and me. Dada, you were in school when we were writing that paper. Which senator did you go and see there? Mm. Ha! I do go to that, Jack. She look and send the good number now. Mm. What send? Ha ha! Now this is your lie, you don't take your time. You should give me my A. A is what I want. I do go to that, Jack. More mm. like Ada Highway. Hey, what's up? Hey! hey. What's up, Alienti? Ah, ah. Every time, give me mark, take something. No. Hey, but you talk saying I'm not pushing you. Now you the offer him. Hmm. Hello. Yes, this is Doctor Boga. Oh. Senator Ben or Sagie? Uh, yes, yes, distinguished senator. Yes, I, I can hear you. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, Miss Ada James. Yes, she is my student. Oh, really? Uh, but, uh, senator, the, uh, the problem is that these young girls these days are very unserious with their studies and they expect to pass. And, 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 and your niece is very notorious for this. She, she, she's among the worst of them all. Yes, yes, I'm listening to you, Senator. Senator, I, I, I'm happy to know you in person, of course, yes. It's actually a privilege. It, it's alright, it's alright. I, I will do as, as you have asked. But please, uh, advise your niece to be more serious with her studies, please. I'm just doing this out of respect for you and, and, and for your office. It, it's okay, it's okay. It's alright. Yeah, I appreciate your call. Thank you very much. Alright. Sure, sure, I know, I know. Alright, bye, Senator. Now, get out of my office. Now. Aye, aye, sir. Now, don't worry, sir. I'll get you a nice bottle of correct wine. And sir, I want an A, not just a pass. Get out. <laughs> Bye, sir. What are you looking for? No. What are you looking for? No, something for Learn how to sing this. 
Obunu ni riba meto na menu anyama nna onye ke guzo ni rugi papa anya we guzo hey pastor <laughs> you're welcome thank you peace be unto you you're welcome to my house thank hey. you <laughs> Uh, Get a seat, Dad. Upon this house. Amen. Thank you. Pastor, you are welcome to my home. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> welcome. Mm -hmm. I can as well sit here. Oh, no, no. no. Thank you. Please sit. Thank you. Sit. I call him my levels. Thank you, sister. Come. Go and uh, buy something for him to drink. Oh, no, at all. Please don't worry, ma. Mm -hmm. I'm fine. Mm -hmm. Pastor, I have to worry. It is not every time that a handsome pastor comes visiting. <laughs> oh my. You're welcome, Pastor. Thank you, sister. So tell me, how is your new station doing? Well, we are doing very well, by the grace of God. I knew you were going to make a wonderful pastor <laughs> and a good preacher of the word of God. <laughs> it's not by my power. It's by the grace of God. <laughs> You're welcome to my home. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. So how's everything, sister? My dear, mm -hmm. God is in control. Amen. Amen. <laughs> you see, there is something I have always wanted to discuss with you. Yes. Just that everybody has been busy these days. Mm -hmm. My dear, you know it is the last days. Eh? I can have words anywhere. <laughs> You're absolutely correct. Yes. yes. Okay. <laughs> well, there's something I want to say. Uh, you see, the Bible was very explicit when it said that he who finds a wife finds a good thing. Exactly. Proverbs 18, verse 22. You're right. Mm. You see, and the Bible also says that a virtuous woman keepeth her home mm -hmm. yes. whereas a foolish one spoileth it with her own hands you are very correct <laughs> that is proverbs 14 verse 1. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you see sister margaret esther abigail and rachel were all virtuous women yes whereas jezebel Delilah and Attila were all wicked women who were severely punished for their wickedness. Pastor, have I done anything wrong for you to suggest that I am not a virtuous woman? No, no, not at all, ma'am. So why are you telling me about all the bad women in the Bible? Pastor, when my husband died, I worked very hard to train my children. My eldest daughter is in the university. My son is in the boarding school and I have grace here. I groomed them in the way of the Lord. Are they not doing well? So what are you talking about? Not being virtuous or whatever. Enlighten me. You misunderstood me. You should have allowed me to say what I wanted to say. I was only praising you for the good work you've been doing at home and in the Lord's vineyard. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Pastor. He man are calling me levels. I thought you came to mock me and my children. Why would I do a thing like that? Hmm? The Lord is your strength. Amen. And I want you to keep the good work. <laughs> Excuse me, my food. Please. I am home. Oh, okay. okay. Hey. Shh. Sister Ruth. Eh? Oh, my dear. I am so sorry. I nearly forgot. Where are you people now? Eh, no problem. I will join you in 10 minutes. Eh, okay. Eh, Pastor, please, eh, I am very, very sorry. I will cut your visit short. 
Hmm? I nearly forgot that uh, I had a, a visitation. One of our members is in the hospital, and you know I am the group leader. Biko, be here with me, eh? I uh, don't worry. Do you know what? Eh? Just go. When I come back, I'll let you know. Or just call me to noon when I am free. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. Bless you. Bless you too. Huh? Not everybody will you see for road. Go fit show you love, man, and Kimji car. Many things to say, man, I had it by. I just wanna be who I wanna be Not everybody will you see for Rose Go feet show you love man I can you God Many things to Grace Grace you're leaving? Yes. I went to buy your drink. They didn't have cold on, so I had to go very far to buy this one. Mommy got a call, so we had to postpone our discussion. Mm. What about your drink? I'll drink it later. Okay? Okay, bye bye. Bye. Grace, please come. I still need your help. I need your sister's number. Why didn't you collect it from my mother? Uh, I was on the verge of doing that when she got the call. Why do you even want my sister's number? Do you want something from her? Uh, 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 Grace, you won't understand. You're still young. It's for good, okay? Uh, just that, you know, I am a man of God and I am not expected to do anything that will look unholy both in the eyes of God and in the eyes of man. Yes, I know that, but I think you should collect the number from my mother when next you come. You're correct. I will do just that. Okay then. Mm. Bye, Pastor. Bless you. Okay. Everybody feels this pain. Even in the night. You just want to say a prayer for yourself. Many things we see every day. Oh God, only God will understand. And everybody will you see for real. Go we show you love, man. I came to come. Rosalind, where are you now? Hurry up. We'll soon be late. Okay. Yes, almost ready. Darling, you need to prepare something very nice for my friend. <laughs> you know I don't roll with anyhow girls now. She's hot. She's fine, sexy. <laughs> okay, we're waiting. <laughs> All right, bye. Ada? Hmm? There is a big problem. What is it? Just saw Tony driving into the school compound now. Tony? Yes. Are you sure? What do you mean am I sure? I know his car very well now. Even if I sight it from far, I know his car. You saw Tony. I saw him. You see this Tony? I know that he's having something to do with somebody in the school. That is not the problem. What do we do now? Your friend's almost here. Tony. He's calling. Yes. Hello, Mr. Tony. Oh, oh yes, this is um, Ada's friend. She forgot this phone in my room. She got a call from home that there was an emergency. Yes. Oh, oh, of course she has another line, but um, the phone is not good. So you can't even get her on that phone. Exactly. Oh, getting her a new phone won't be a bad idea. Okay. Oh, you're in the campus right now? If it's okay, I can come and get the gift on her behalf. Okay, I'll be there right away. Okay. Alright. 
go. Hi. Ruslin, hmm? you are a liar. I give you one. Ne, you need to add your leg. I'm learning from the master. Hey! I am learning from you. You are a liar. No, I will lie, Mohammed. I'm learning from you. Let me go and get the gift. And you know why I'm doing this is because I want to collect. Please go. Let me hey! Go Let me go and collect the gift. Go and hold your hold your hold your My mind is there. No problem. Hey! Liar. <clears throat> oh, young Shagro. They learn really fast. Uh, your auntie, Auntie Philo. Yeah? Oh, Auntie Philo. Yeah. She was my teacher when I was in primary school, when I was Joseph, when I was a small Joe. Eh? <laughs> now I am a big Joe. Eh? You see, uh, I have not lived in this country for the past 10 years. Yes, I first traveled to Spain. Three years. I moved to Malaysia. Australia. Eh? And now I am Big Joe Odaba. <laughs> oh wait, I have something for you. <laughs> I got this for you. Eh? Thank you, but I don't really know you so well, so I can't take that. 